usually know what the look of an animal is supposed to be like. But every now and then, nature surprises us, and it's a bit of a big deal when we see things like two colored eyed animals, or crazy looking skins, and all sorts of oddities. Today, we're going to be watching and celebrating the uniqueness of 10 animals that were born with incredible features. Crazy fur? Shocking colors? Get ready for the craziest and most unexpected things from the animal kingdom. Make sure you stay with me all the way to number one, so you can see one of the most incredible and unexpected features ever found on an animal. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Nuts, the dog with a beard. The first animal on this list is a dog with a beard longer than many of us. It's a tiny griffin dog named Nuts. While these dogs are known for their facial hair, Nuts' beard is just out of this world. Heck, just look at his Instagram page, we'll show you why this little guy gets everyone's attention. Whenever he goes out with his human mom, Tatiana Kovalenik, sometimes people call him Chewbacca, and some others call him a hipster dog. Even when he was only three years old, he already looked like a very cool looking old dog by rocking that beard. His mom, Tatiana, used to think that a beard like this was normal for a pooch like Nuts. However, once he started to become famous, Tatiana realized that Nuts' beard was very unique. According to Tatiana, it doesn't take a lot of effort to keep Nuts' beard healthy and long. It just comes naturally. I wish I could grow a beard like that. I'm sure most of us wish we could grow such an amazing beard. It's beautiful. Number 9. The Pied Ball Pythons. Next on this list, I have a very cool looking snake. The Pied Ball Pythons. If you are into snakes, you've probably heard about them. They're also called pied sided, and the reason for their name is because of a condition called piebaldism. I don't want to get all scientific here, but what you need to know is piebaldism happens when the animal lacks enough production of melanin, which is the pigmentation that determines the color of skin, eyes, and hair. The lack of melanin causes patches of the skin or scales to be lighter than what they should be. This condition has to do with genetics, and it even affects humans. When it comes to the ball pythons, they look very exotic with some patches of color, and sometimes some of them look like they have no color at all. That's pretty neat, actually. The pied ball pythons have become very popular among snake breeders. Some of them pay crazy amounts of money just so they can get the chance to take care of one of these snakes and figure out if they can breed this trait. The pied ball pythons are very friendly and usually allow themselves to be handled without creating much conflict. Number 8. The Piebald Dolphin Remember how I said piebaldism can happen in different animals? Well, it can definitely happen to dolphins as well. Also known as Commerson's Dolphin and Panda Dolphin, the piebald dolphins have mostly white bodies with some patches of black. They are found in two specific parts of the world, around the Strait of Magellan and the Falkland Islands in the southernmost part of the American continent. They can also be found near the Kerguelen Islands in the Indian Ocean. However, back in 2004, one of them was found near the shores of South Africa, which is at least 4,200 kilometers away from the group that lives in the Indian Ocean and 6,300 kilometers away from the ones in South America. Getting to this spot would have required the dolphin to swim against the Antarctic Circumpolar Current. This is a perfect example of vagrancy, which is when a species is well outside its normal home. Perhaps there are more families of panda dolphins out there, and humans just haven't met them all yet. I wouldn't be surprised. After all, I'm sure the ocean still holds a lot of secrets. Kinda like... Number 7. Crazy Colored Lobsters For those of you who love seafood, you probably have a taste for lobster, which is considered one of the fanciest seafood dishes one can get. Now, I'm not sure if you know this, but lobsters are not really red when they come out of the water. They're actually this brownish, muddy color, not attractive at all. However, there are some rare lobsters in the ocean in colors that you would not expect. There's a neon blue lobster, so rare that many people actually consider them a good omen whenever they spot them. Experts say that the chances of catching one of these is 1 in 2 million, which makes it a real-life shiny Pokemon. There are also actual red lobsters, and not because they've been cooked, but because they are naturally bright red and the chances of finding one are 1 in 10 million. This is even rarer than blue lobsters. And if you're not impressed yet, there are also yellow lobsters, also called Coleco lobsters. If that doesn't scream exotic, I don't know what will. It's so rare that back in 2014, someone found one in a supermarket fish tank and decided to release it back into the wild. What's crazier than all these colored lobsters? The multicolored lobsters. These ones can be two different colors, with a split in the middle that differentiates their two tones. Number 6. The Orange Alligator. South Carolina's residents experienced an odd attraction back in the spring of 2019, 
the appearance of two orange alligators at a local pond. People were trying to figure out whether these reptiles had been covered by paint, or if they were albino, or if they had any other genetic disorder like many animals on this list. However, a spokesperson from the Department of Natural Resources told people that the orange color might come from rust in the pipes, near to where the alligators came from. According to the locals, that was not the first time an orange alligator showed up in the area. Two years earlier, another orange alligator visited the area, which actually does make sense, since that's the time when alligators come out of hibernation. Regardless of the source of the orange-colored skin, authorities had to remind people to stay away from them. After all, whether orange or not, alligators are dangerous animals, and as humans, we must keep our distance from them. Now, I know the guy from Natural Resources said the orange probably comes from rusty pipes, but I still like to believe that they're actually born this way. Wouldn't it be cool to see an orange alligator in the wild? Again, at a distance, of course. Number 5. The Pink Grasshopper When you were a kid, how did you feel about insects? Did they gross you out and keep you away from plants? Or were you one of those kids who liked to explore? Well, I will tell you one thing. Being adventurous really pays off and can result in some pretty cool findings. Kinda like the story of this kid in Austin, Texas who found a pink grasshopper in his backyard. The pink grasshopper is actually the result of a genetic mutation called erethism, which is similar to albinism. Apparently, it's a recessive trait and that's why you don't hear about pink grasshoppers all the time. They are just extraordinarily rare. However, some scientists believe that back in the day, the gene that makes them pink was dominant. But the grasshoppers had to evolve from that since the pink made them easy to spot for their predators. I guess that makes sense. Regular grasshoppers are a bit hard to spot in the garden, but I'm sure I'd spot a pink one right away. Now, if regular grasshoppers bring good luck, what can pink grasshoppers do? Yeah, I guess we'll have to find out. Number 4. The Brown Panda Next on this list, I have a panda named Kizai, which literally means the seventh sun. Now, this panda is not like the others. This one is a brown panda. Perhaps the only one in the world, actually. And this brown panda has a very interesting story. He was abandoned by his mother when he was barely two months old and was rejected, perhaps even bullied by other pandas in an environment where he didn't fit in. But now Kizai is one of the most famous pandas in the world, due to its brown and white fur that makes it stand out among the others. This thing's just a real-life Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, isn't he? Scientists believe that Kizai's brown fur comes from a genetic mutation. Some researchers fix a date for Kizai, and if it all goes well, they hope that it will result in more brown pandas coming into the world. People who have interacted with Kizai say he's a really slow panda, but he's also one of the most gentle and adorable animals ever. It seems like Kizai's sad days are way behind, and now he's out in the time of his life at the Foping Panda Valley. Number 3. Half Male, Half Female Cardinal That's creepy. If you've ever seen cardinal birds, you might remember them for their bright and memorable bright red feathers, if they were male, or tan if they were female. But what happens when you spot a red and tan cardinal? Well, that would be half male and half female. And if you don't believe it, you can actually ask Jeff and Shirley Caldwell to confirm the facts, because they spotted one of these rare birds from their kitchen window in Pennsylvania. Shirley was so amazed by the split-colored bird that she decided to take a photo of it. But she did not know how rare it was until she consulted scientific facts and learned that birds like these are indeed half male and half female. The phenomenon is called bilateral gynandromorphs, and it can happen to birds, butterflies, and crustaceans. This is due to the fact that genetics in these animals are different to mammals, so the chances of half male and half female specimens is more common in these groups of animals. Usually animals with this condition are infertile, but the one that Shirley photographed might be able to reproduce because its left side is the female one, and that's usually the reproductive side that is functional in female birds. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The pictures I chose for the day seem a bit fake, don't you think? A two-faced cat and a dog with a very interesting looking fur combination? Can that be real? Well, let's find out. Number 2. Venus the Chimera Cat no, this is not a product of Photoshop. It is a real-life cat named Venus, with a face that is half black and half red tabby. And if that wasn't odd enough, her left eye is green and the right one is blue. Something called heterochromia. Venus's story begins back in 2009 when she was rescued from the streets by a family in North Carolina. It only took a photo of Venus to go on Reddit to make her insta-famous. People were impressed by her looks and couldn't believe she was a real-life cat. 
Venus became so famous that she even made appearances on the Today Show and also on Fox and Friends. Different veterinarians have different theories for Venus's unique genetic traits, but no one has been able to tell for sure. One thing that is for sure, Venus is a pretty cool looking cat, and the world knows it too. She now has more than 2 million followers, and Venus always entertains them with her everyday life stories. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Rottweiler with Vitiligo. And at the top of this list, we have this Rottweiler named Duke. This guy was born with a condition called vitiligo, which is the reason for the white marks around his face. On top of that, he also has a skin and eye condition that causes sores on his legs and around his eyes. But luckily, the people at an animal center in Somerset, UK were able to help after his owner could no longer take care of him. They say Duke requires a lot of attention, but he's also a very smart dog and very gentle. He became friends with other dogs and even cats. And Duke is not the only dog with this skin condition. There is also Rowdy, a black Labrador with vitiligo who became the perfect buddy for an 8-year-old boy named Carter, who also has this skin condition. Honestly, all these stories are actually pretty inspiring. Those are all the animals I have for you today. I hope you enjoy learning more about them. Which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.